So here I have an Arduino Uno that is connected through this breadboard to two different MPU 6050 accelerometers. And I can see that on my serial monitor, when I rotate the accelerometers, their values are tracked individually. And before I get into how this all works, the real crux of it and key of it is on the second accelerometer on one of them. Instead of being plugged into voltage, you want the voltage plugged into ADO. But I'm going to go over exactly how this is wired up and what the code looks like. So to go over the exact wiring, I have my MPU 6050s connected to 3.3 volts and ground that goes over to the breadboard. And then we have voltage and ground coming out of the same breadboard power and ground lines going to both my MPU 6050s. I've used red and black wire for that. And then again, one of the MPU 6050s is on AD0 for voltage and the other MPU 6050 is plugged into VCC like you would normally do. Uh, so for the SCL line I've used yellow wire for both of them and it goes to the same line on the breadboard and then out to the SCL port on the chip and for SCA I've used the green line and in the same place where all the data passes through the breadboard on the SCA and SCL lines each we have a pull-up resistor. So this is a 10k resistor that goes straight to the power line. The first thing to do once you have your board wired up like this is to run the I2C scanner code. This is a file I've seen a bunch of people use. I put it up on my GitHub. I'm certainly not the one who wrote it, but it just scans at regular intervals for all the different I2C devices. And you can see if you had one accelerometer in, uh, it would appear on port 68. When you plug the other one into AD0 for voltage, you'll see it appear on port 69. So if we go to the library tab and we type MPU 6050, you can see all the different libraries for controlling accelerometers. We make sure to use the one by Electric Cats. That's the one Arduino recommends on their website. And once you do that in examples, you'll get this MPU 6050 example set. Um, and this is a really good one here. DMP61 reads all the data of the accelerometer that you could possibly want. Um, what I've done is I've put a modified version of this up on my GitHub, and all it does is read yaw, pitch, and roll data. Uh, so if you want other ones, you'll have to copy that out of the DMP6 example, but what it is set up to do is read from two different devices. So it sets up a second MPU 6050 in setup it runs. A setup function for both of them and then in the loop it's going to read the data from device one and device two and now with this program uploaded onto my board i can rotate my two different accelerometers and they will independently read out their values in radians